Hello everyone. Welcome back to Ultimate Decades. I know it's really weird to see my face, but I just wanted to give you a little preview of the fun that we have been having on live stream lately. I just implemented a doggo cam. So when we are live streaming, you can see my babies right there. And I typically don't play the Ultimate Decades on camera just because there's so much management. I'm jumping from screen to screen. There's a lot going on and a lot of times I'm recording it over several different days and it's just not possible to really do it all in one setting. Not for me anyway, but I wanted to have a little chat because we have been having some major issues with the decades save. We're going to see how this goes. I we had to do a bunch of death rolls. So I am going to jump off of camera here in a minute. But I just wanted to let you all know that no, we are not done playing the Squires. Yes, we have been playing a new 1890s decades challenge on live stream, but that is not in place of the Squires. I am not giving them up anytime soon. The lot has just been broken due to the for rent bugs. So it was just kind of, it was a string of unfortunate events because I got very sick. I was sick for over a week. Obviously, I didn't get anything done while I was sick. And then right after getting sick, the lot was broken. So we do have one whole day that we missed out on in this year. I don't have the text on the screen, but once I replace my face, we will have the text on the screen again showing the year. But this year started on Tuesday, but because of all the issues, we did miss out on that day. We had a bunch of babies born. We had Rune, John, and Walter who need to have death rolls done for them as well. So I'm going to jump off of here. I just wanted to say hello and I hope that you will join us on our live streams for right now we are streaming on every Wednesday and Saturday at 2 p.m eastern time and I typically communicate in the community tab on YouTube if that changes for any reason like me being sick <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I hope that I will see you there to play our 1890s decades. We're going to attempt to play here in the Squire household, but first we're going to do a bunch of death rolls. Hello everybody, I am excited to announce that I have a code for HelloFresh. With this code, you can land yourself one free breakfast meal per box. As a long time HelloFresh customer of two plus years, I have been receiving at least three meals per week from HelloFresh. I would never recommend anything to you on this channel that I have not tried myself. I really love HelloFresh for several reasons, but two of the biggest ones are, I can make meals that I typically would not keep the ingredients on hand for. These are things that I might not be able to obtain locally, or they are things that I don't use enough of to buy. I don't have to worry about using it or losing it because everything comes pre-portioned. It's just what you need and that's it. The other big thing is that it really reduces stress. So I know three meals are coming every week. I don't have to worry about what's for dinner. It's a big weight off of the shoulders when you live a very busy life. I could keep scrolling all day long here. It goes on and on and on. So needless to say, I think I am qualified to recommend HelloFresh to you today. If you've ever wanted to give it a try, now is the time. By using my code, you'd be helping out the channel in a tremendous way. If you do give it a go, let me know how your first box goes. On the screen, you will find the code. There will also be a special link in the description along with the code there as well. Now on to the video that you are waiting for. Okay, so we are in the year 1346. It started on Tuesday and we have this year only before things really go haywire. So after this year, we will be going back to war with the men. So a lot of our men will be leaving once again for the Hundred Years War. After that, we have the Black Plague, which we will be streaming live. So keep an eye out for the announcement as to when that will be. We had a bunch of babies born, including our very own, who is currently named Alma. There is a long story in there, but her name is actually going to be Franny. We have to do death rolls for her. We have to do death rolls for Joan. We have to do Rune, John, Walter. We have to do Felix, Haywood, and Sawyer's babies. And Oscar the Second, Folk and Mary's child. So let's get a roll on towards all of that why not start here in our main household probably not the greatest idea to start this way but you know okay so we need to get our d20s out and we will do the baby here first so this is for little franny who is currently named alma and it's 1 5 10 15 or 20 and she dies 
So she's good. Little Franny is going to be a-okay. Now, what about Mama Joan? She is one or 10. Remember, in my playthrough, we have added more difficulty to the birthing mothers. So we have added 10. And she rolled a 20. So she is all good to go. All right. I don't think I'm going to travel around just because of how bad the game has been. We'll kind of use the family tree as a guide as we're doing these. So we need to go back and find Folk and Mary and Oscar. So this is going to be for little Oscar. This death roll here is for Oscar, who is a child um so it is 9 or 19 that he has to avoid rolling to survive so this is for oscar the second remember oscar the first did die at this same age stage actually so let's see all right he's good as well i do not like this but we are going to roll for rune and john they are now elders so rune and john our elders and the way that we are doing the elder roles is if they roll a 13 15 or a 19 they die right now if they survive those rolls we roll a d20 for the number of years that they are going to have left so 13 15 and 19 let's do rune first rune is okay so how many years is rune going to have remaining eight all right eight years remaining for rune and now we have to do john is john going to survive and if so how many years is he going to have left that's weird okay <laughs> They both rolled 20. Someone rolled a 20. I don't remember. My memory is that poor. So John is going to live, but for how many years? Three. Oof. Poor John. So John's going to live three more years. Is Walter Wainwright going to survive for poor Thora? Let's hope so. Yes. How many years though? 20 years walter holy this dice is liking 20 but i'm glad i didn't like 20 a few minutes ago all right that's all i'm going to say all right so next we need to go let's do let's do felix so these kids all have interesting names i think i'm gonna end up leaving them just because it's freaking hilarious but i accidentally saved when I let them all just give birth and just randomize the names and I didn't mean to save after I was doing other stuff in the world and I was filming. So it wasn't something I had to save for, but apparently I, I did accidentally save it. So Sonny is Felix's baby with his new wife, Isabel. So Sonny is going to be 1, 5, 10, 15 or 20 for Sonny. Sonny is going to die interesting what about isabel she has to avoid rolling a one or a ten she's good so isabel's gonna be fine then we have branson who is haywoods so branson one five ten fifteen or twenty wow branson is going to die what about branson's mother who is I forgot her name for a minute. Celia Noor. So Branson's mom, one or 10. She's going to die. No, Celia Noor is going to die. He has a lot of tries though. Felix does not. So that's overall not great, guys. Uh, with the plague coming. Um, so Haywood's not gonna have any more children before the plague. I don't think we're gonna, we might be able to make it happen if he doesn't go to war. But if he does, no dice. So that's unfortunate. Then we need to pop all the way back over to Sawyer. And we have, where is he? We have a baby. Malik, which is an interesting name for it to automatically come up with. I will keep it if he survives. So for Malik or Malik, maybe it's Malik. It's probably Malik. I'm sorry. But 1, 5, 10, 15 or 20 for Malik. Malik is good. 
Oh, gosh. What about Daisy? One or ten for Daisy. So Malik and Daisy are good. They've had good luck lately. All right. So I'm just offing Selianor and Branson so far. Oscar was fine. Joan and the baby were fine. Rune, John, and Walter were fine. I honestly, I think that's it. I think that's it for the death rolls. But there might be a child here and there that has aged up that I missed because I didn't mean to save. If I want run across them as we're playing, I'll try to do them, but we're just going to let it go. Um, I did not intend to save and things got all screwed up and I don't even have anything recorded. So I have to go record all of this in my spreadsheet and then we're going to come back and do some gameplay. It is Easter and because it's Easter, we are go... Was that not showing the whole time was my dice cut off the 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 whole time the girl was too stunned to speak i don't know when that happened i am not re-rolling all of that because we got pretty dang lucky um but my attention to detail freaking sucks even with two screens i'm sorry um i think i need 10 screens to be able to do this <laughs> um but off to gameplay now I will off these sims off camera. I'm not going to do it right now. Now, the problem I'm running into with the events is that I, the sims don't... I am so out of sorts right now. So out of sorts. <laughs> so we're going to church. We're getting ready. We're going to church. Everybody's grabbing their quick little bite to eat. Church is at 11. We're actually going to an event. So this is... We're like... We're doing the unthinkable for when a save file is no longer functioning. So we're going to see how this goes. We're actually going to church. The problem I'm running into is that Edward doesn't know everybody. And I want to get a lot of the Sims together before everything goes haywire with the plague. So the problem is that we don't currently know everyone. So we're doing church. And then we're going to do something with like the guys and folk like separately until I can make sure that Edward meets everybody. I don't know that that's going to happen, especially with how bad the game is currently playing right now. It is what it is kind of thing, you know? It's just gotta be what it is. So everybody's just grabbing a bite to eat and we are off to church. Let's see how this goes. What are you guys wearing? <laughs> I guess I should have made sure everybody had formal outfit. Wait a minute. That's not your formal outfit. Why are you in that one? So we're going to come down here. We're going to serve roast chicken. It's going to be $98. It's not going to be like a full-fledged. For one thing, I can't get Radcliffe to show up here. I'm going to have to summon him. This is going to be a disaster. We're going to call everyone over to the meal. He won't come. Are you serious? This is not going well. I should have known. This was dumb to even try. Teleport a sim. Teleport a world sim. And it's going to be Radcliffe. Radcliffe. I don't know. It's it's not working out the way that I intended it to. But we're all just going to hang out. And this is a rabbit hole. So this holiday ceremony is a rabbit hole. Sweet, sweet Edith is probably gonna burst at any time what are you wearing radcliffe are you joking wow how did they get some of these outfits like there ain't no way but look at the group we're all here together oh it's so sweet little do they know what is coming Oh boy. Okay, but we are all chit-chatting. We are going to go do some art and music upstairs as well, but we are at a church right now. You can't really tell because we are downstairs, but this is our church. We've only been here for a wedding and I have since um, remodeled it a little bit. Make, in, make music and art. Sing until your voice gives out. Oh, they're hugging, but they're not dressed properly. What else is new? Edith's about to pee her pants, but look, everyone's here. Um, there are really no kids here, though, and I want to make sure that our little bean, our heir, meets some of the girls in town. Um, and he's going to come meet, like, his cousins and stuff. 
Um, that's Nathaniel or Henry. They look so much alike. That's Henry. Nathaniel should be here. But I don't know if he is. I just want to make sure that everybody gets to know everybody else and gets to see everybody. But like I said, unfortunately, it's only the people that Edward knows. But we will be able to get some more of them together separately. Plus, you don't want to have too many Sims on a lot or you will like destroy your game. And I do not want to tempt fate right now. Anyhow, so see our little but our little bubby here doesn't even know his family. So we're going to introduce ourselves to some of these people. Is there a mod out there that makes it so they automatically know family? Like relations to them? He likes romance music? Interesting. Like he doesn't even know Eleanor and Edith. So whoever does survive the plague, I want to do more of these with that person. It'll be easier, too, when there's fewer sims to deal with. But this is nice. Everybody is... Oh, we have to give a sermon? Well, here's the thing, guys. Radcliffe ultimately is not getting married. I think he's going to become, like, a monk or maybe a priest Um, in this timeline. We'll just put it that way. In this timeline. But we don't have control of him right now. So let's go give a speech. Ask someone about their day. Brag about baby. Yeah, we need to age the baby up as well. But I think Radcliffe is going to become our, like, priest man. What are you? Haywood? Haywood? Ooh. Haywood! Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> All right. Let's hunt for some eggs. We have to do that, too. Where else can we hunt for eggs? Like, nowhere around any, any of these things? The kid should at least hunt for an egg. But where is he going to be able to hunt for an egg? Where is he going to be able to hunt? There. Go hunt for an egg. Faith, do you want to hunt for eggs? Hunt for an egg. So he still giving his speech hasn't asked him about his day i mean oh you look nice sweetie oh you do look nice edward is constantly getting edward's speech did not inspire anyone edward has been getting so many phone calls to <laughs> offer him jobs it's like yeah no so some of the people didn't even like i invited some of these kids i did and they didn't come Probably because they're technically at work. So let's grab a couple of them and try to get them here. All right. Just get them people over here. Zuri is not going to show up. She's not. They're not going to come. They're not going to come. And I don't. Oh, God. So Zuri would be fine. Eloise is on a resi multi-family residential lot. I don't want to go there. So Faith is having a blast. I love this for us. Just pretend someone is playing medieval music, okay? I f where is the music box? Oh, I put one up here. Is there anything that sounds kind of like it? Probably not. I mean, this was kind of nice. It's really the best we can do, honestly. But we're, we're getting to at least see everybody. Why don't you go introduce yourself if you don't... Do you know them? No, you do not. Go introduce yourself to these ladies. Maybe you guys could do... So in our 1890s challenge, I'm like obsessed with this idea of doing like a sewing circle. Maybe they could do something similar. And that would be cute. Our sims just don't know each other. It's really unfortunate, actually. Let me guess. Those girls never showed. This has been messed up since the prior episode. So during our prior episode, we could not get anybody to travel look at this badass though dude is oh uh, uh, i'm obsessed i am absolutely obsessed with him <laughs> well i think they're all fighting are they all stuck in here what's going on what's happening use somebody use it and get everyone out 
I think everyone got stuck in the bathroom last time. Oh, lordy. Guys, I don't know. Can you come out now? All right, I don't know. I think we could call it now because everyone's getting like, yeah. Um, but we're going to attend this religious ceremony by using the phone to travel there. Attend holiday ceremony, take these guys. We're gonna go do that and then we'll go home. Edward, go do that please. You guys, he wants to swap his hate children to family oriented. Hates children might be a stronger feeling than Edward originally thought. In fact, Edward is starting to feel really family oriented lately. So he really enjoyed seeing his family today, you guys. Oh, that's so cute. Elwine is calling to chat. I invited you here. Dude, like I invited so many more people than this, you guys. I had very ambitious plans. All right. I really did. And they're just not going to work. It's just we'll try again with just the guys. All right. He's not going to go. We're going to end this. They're not going to get that because they decided not to go. I don't know. Something severely messed up in the save. It is what it is at this point. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> It is the baby's birthday today, so we're going to do that, and then everyone's going to go to bed. All right, guys. I'm going to try not to screw this one up, okay? It's going to be an infant, so it's 4, 12, 16, or 18 for our infants. Oh, look at Look how it popped up. Why is it doing that? No. I'm not doing that, you guys, okay? Like, that's not me. It's Something's weird. Whoa. I guess I got to keep an eye on it when I change windows and stuff. All right. Wiggly baby. Oh, green hair. So I guess we get to pick what her genetics are going to be, huh? All righty dighty, I guess. It's 4, 12, 16, and 18. No. Franny is going to pass away, everyone. Franny will not survive. Let's give her a makeover before we off her. We will try again before the next year because there's going to be more war and death for our men in particular. It's, it's The odds are not in our favor. So let's give her a makeover so I get her photo before we off her. Okay, everyone. Franny did have blonde eyebrows. So I went ahead and gave her blonde hair because green hair obviously is not going to work. And now <sighs> Edward's going to break my heart. What are you doing? I'm going to put her to bed. She's dying, honey. She's 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 gone. All right. It's over for her. <laughs> um, it's unfortunate, but she's gone. She's gone, babe. Whoa, where did he go? Oh, okay. Um, That's it for Franny. So tomorrow we have to start trying for a baby. I really feel like Edward would go to war at some point. Even if he doesn't roll for it. And we've been saying that. She needs 3,000. She doesn't even have 1,500. Um, Twins would be a blessing. Twin boys would be like chef's kiss. I don't see it happening, though. All right, loves. So we are now at Thursday morning at almost 9 a.m. We're having these two go do a woohoo. Unfortunately, Joan is feeling sick at the moment. Um, she has caught a little something, <laughs> but we're still woohooing anyway. And while those two take care of that, I wanted to show you I got into some things. I decided I was going to redo the garden. So now we have quite a bit more garden space um <clears throat> and room to add additional plants this lot specifically is like so bugged out so we have a couple of evil hens i don't know how that happened honestly no idea but i did have to delete our chicken coops and put in new ones because our actions weren't available like we couldn't purchase new chickens or anything like that so i purchased some new chickens Unfortunately, even after selling some of our flowers, doing all of that took quite a pretty penny. 
But I am thinking that we are going to maybe, I will definitely take into account your opinions, but I'm thinking it's time to redo the Squire house and maybe just get rid of the structure and redo it or at least like take out the interior walls and like start over in a realistic way like they might at this time. Um, I've slowly been changing things and now we have a bigger lot to work with and I eventually want to build a barn out here. But we're going to have to save up some money before we can do too much of that. Um, and I'm thinking maybe we'll wait until after the plague so that we know exactly what we have going on. He is still feeling so off about Faith. He has a very hard time and he's thinking about how if he was to explain it to other people, he would be met with nothing but horror and judgment. Yet how is one supposed to force themselves to not feel the sadness they feel and to feel a happiness they do not? So I think it bothers him quite a lot that Faith is here and Florence isn't and that his life kind of took on, where did she go? Took on this other path that he wasn't really bargaining on. I don't know. It's interesting. What are you feeling sad about? envious it's hard to see other couples together when you don't have anyone special in your life really this has been a rough one just getting this lot to work so let's just let them kind of all age up here they go and then i'll try to remember to do it before the episode's over but all right so i wanted to show you what i've done there i think at the very least we need to open this up and reconfigure the house but i think it would be nice to maybe eventually do a complete like do over of everything obviously when we do the barn we'll probably get rid of this barn structure but to be able to utilize more of the land i do need to play out more of a story and how that story is going to go is dependent on who lives so let's just put it that way um there's a lot going on i want to see if she's pregnant so let's let her just do a pregnancy test Whoa, that was like super easy and super fast, you guys. Ooh, Edith. Edith. Okay, so we're sticking with the E names, and this is a baby boy. Um, um, we have Edric, who d is deceased, and then Eliza and Eloise for her. Go Eric. That's a new one we haven't used yet. Oh my god god are you serious oh no okay uh eric and eugene wow all right so we will do eric first oh i'm a, i have a different okay he rolled a six um, but I had it in a wrong, the wrong window. Um, so he rolled a six and then Eugene. Eugene is going to die. And the, what about Edith? Please, Lord, don't do this to me, okay? <sighs> okay, Edith is fine. So we got to go kill off Eugene. I have a lot. I have not killed anybody off yet, Okay. It's the management stuff that I sometimes just don't feel like doing. It's just, it's just the way it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, we, I think now that Joan is pregnant, um, for the most part, we have the, the farm doing pretty well. Um, she didn't follow through this morning and get everything harvested. I don't think. Uh, so let's do that very quickly so that we can get rid of stuff for money have him help really quick we'll grab all of this i really need to get some more nectar going okay so let's see how what we get from all of the flowers yeah <laughs> yep um that solves a lot of our issues all right okay cool good okay now we have some more fruits and stuff to make nectar with. 
That is good. We have one random blackberry. Sure. You got some lemons. You got some strawberries. You got some mushrooms. You got some garlic. You got some carrots. You got some horse poop. The other thing I want to do, I want to see if he can give his bow to his son. I don't know if it's going to be a giftable item, but let's find out. Friendly affection, give gift, friendly gift. He can. Okay, so we're going to give Francis our child bow, our child sized bow. So stinking cute and sweet. Yay, he liked it. Good. Now you can start teaching him. So stinking cool. Oh, yeah. I forgot we had like a huge fire. Um, That's still not right. And I tried to move it. So I tried changing out the fireplace because that one is always catching everything on fire. So I tried to replace it with one that I have on hand but why come on i shouldn't be doing that she's got an accessory stuck to the side of her <laughs> oh, so we are gonna have flossie's birthday in the next episode Oh, Joan is not doing well. Oh, no, Joan. Um. What the heck, Maud? Wait a minute. What? How is she actually? I feel like we should do a death roll for her. Like, she got, like, something serious. Wait, is this something the Sims can typically... Don't they usually just get, like, swirlies and weird stuff? Like, this looks like an actual disease. She should be, like, quarantining. You're... You need to eat that and go to sleep. And I know you're not going to listen to me. I did do a little bit of editing up here. Make the room a little bigger. Give them a better bed. I think it's time. Oh, this is not good. She feels okay about the child. All right, let's switch over now to Folk and Mary. Because remember, Folk is going to die soon. All right, you two. You cuties. Why don't you give your wife a little love? Let her know that you're going to go hang out with the guys for a little bit. So, Folk recently heard from Rune, and they're going to meet up somewhere. Um, and look at that view. Oh, he's telling her how much he loves her. Oh, by the way, I don't think you guys saw Oscar because I did him off camera. He aged up. We did roll for him, though. Um, see? Okay. Now, he's showing his being here in the main house, the shared area. But he was not there when we were there and none of our Sims are here. That's not how this is supposed to work. Oh, yeah. And I got us some little guys, um, little sheep. But I, I'm, this law is so screwed up. Like, we should be able to see all the other Sims in this house and we don't. It's like if you're not playing the current household, they just don't exist. And that's very, very, very annoying. But anyway, that's Oscar. He's good. We're good. Um, you, it's 4.03 p.m. So we need to get a move on with this. Um, you're going to travel with Rune, Edward, Sawyer, Huxley, Elwine. Now, the problem I'm running into is none of the, sim the Sims are not showing up. That's literally the only people that we can invite. 
And remember, it is a secret that Rune is still alive. So I think that's, that's, oh, that sucks. Maybe we will bring by some of the other guys once we get there. So if you missed it, we made a special lot on live. And it is replace, it's replacing the tavern that we used to have here. So this is the, the new tavern that we have built. And there is a secret room here with a secret door that leads down to this space for the men to all get together and plot their plans. And I think we're going to sit together and chat. Nice. So, we might be going back out on the warpath again, I hear. Rune's like, oh my god, not again. Ooh, we need to go get drinks. Happy hour. Um, everyone needs to just, you know, see each other for a little while. We haven't seen Elwine in, like, ages. I think everyone's ready to go get drinks. So Rune should really stay downstairs, but obviously I'm not going to really be able to keep him from going elsewhere. So order happy hour drink. You get yourself some nectar. Maybe your son's nectar is available at this spot. Where's everyone going? Are you guys leaving? Because I... Look at this. They're leaving already. They're not even. Sawyer's not even in the group anymore. You guys, I'm trying so hard and this game is making this so unbelievably freaking difficult. <laughs> All right. Scratch that and order drinks for everybody. Order drinks for the whole group with the money you don't have right now. Why are you guys leaving? I hate this game so much. Who is even left here? And now he's sitting here by himself. All right, you all. I I tried, okay? <laughs> they had about five seconds of hanging out. Let's try to do a family reunion. But we're gonna, it's only going to be the men. Okay, now there's more Sims showing up. I don't... Okay, we're going to try this. I can literally make, like, no guarantees. We'll even let Francis come. That this is going to actually work. Was Huxley on here? Okay, we have Huxley... Still not everyone, but it's better. It's not coming up as an option to have it here. I'm going to try putting it as generic and try again. I don't know what I have to do to make a good episode. My last episode, disaster. There's something going on with like the social events, the traveling and the Sims. Like they just, they leave and I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get around it but i guess we're gonna try still not an option guys all right i am conceding i flip and tried honestly i don't i don't know so we might have to try to have like a family dinner at home and rune won't be able to come but yeah this that was useless we built this and i can't even hang out here with anyone they just left it's not like it's late at night. It was like 5 o'clock and they just all left. Bear with me, you all. I'm trying. All right. Let's 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 try to do this from Folk and Mary's point of view. It's 7 p.m. Oh, my God. I wasted so much time. Still just probably going to aim for mostly the men. But I guess now that we're doing this and we're not bringing Rune, we can just bring everyone. I don't know who's going to freaking show and who's not. Are you 
15 maximum? Are you joking me? All right. It's a family reunion with 15 out of 150 family members. So is everyone going to show up and come into this shared space? Okay, now I actually see Edward here. Girl, what are you wearing? Curdles here. <laughs> okay, so I don't see anyone. Oh, here comes one more. Here comes a very angry Haywood. This is literally my last try. Oh, Thomas? I have no words. Okay. 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 Um... That's interesting. Our next goal is going to be to get little Francis out to meet everybody. Unless anybody knows of a mod that we could get. At least everyone's kind of together. This has been an absolute disaster, I have to say. You can't be here! What are you doing here? You never come- Did I invite her on accident? Oh my god, she has to leave. My sims are all doing this, too. Which I think is from an animation. Look at her, though. Oh, why are you in a wedding dress? Um, I'm going to send some people out here to play cards because that's what I wanted to do at the freaking bar before they all bailed on me. All right, pretty sure I told you guys to play cards, but... Okay. All right. Thank for coming. You know, I would I would kind of do that if I knew where to find it in the menu. Thank for coming. Please just listen to me and do as I ask. Mary, did you call everyone to the meal? Everyone's eating, so. Wow, this house is too small for this. But at least we could say we had all of the sims in the same room, okay? That, at this point, that is the best I can do. And I feel like there's extra people here that I didn't invite. These two might as well be freaking twins. And they are just gorgeous. Edith is, like, hands down one of the most gorgeous sims. Close second here. Mm. Okay. Love these genetics. Faith, what do you think? You should be meeting everyone, but I don't have control of you right now. So you're probably not. We're just all hanging out in the kitchen chatting. Okay. What are we chatting about? They're probably reminiscing and talking about how quickly time is going by. And how much things are changing. You know, kind of just going through the whole thing. Um, Thora is so chill. She's just, just sitting here. So good to see you, babe. Yeah, you're beautiful. Why don't you go give Thora a hug? You two, this is probably going to be your last hug. What is that, Hux? What are you, Huxley? Are you making a grilled cheese? <gasps> Huxley. I ought to kick you out of my house. Huxley. Huxley bringing it back for um, old time's sake. <laughs> Huxley's trying to make a grilled cheese. Mufasa, knock it off. Okay, Mufasa. So we are really failing at this party. All right, let's just do some family interactions here. Discuss the lineage introduce yourself you don't know henry what bs you don't know felix that's bs this is all bs all of this is bs it's not real it's not it's not true take photos well that's a useless thing for us give a lesson on family does that count no you're just you're not even listening to me right now are you joking? Come on, folk. Oh my god, they all just went away. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't burn my house down with this grilled cheese hux. What an absolute disaster. 
But there they are. And we will try to do some with Francis. And we'll go see some of the children with Francis during the next episode. Um, today's actually our last day of the year. So, um, I guess we're going to wrap up this party. I would like to have some of the guys, like, play cards or something. Sawyer just doesn't come around anymore. I don't think Sawyer came unless I, d I failed to invite him. Um, but he was, like, the first one to dip before, so... No, they won't come play cards. But I can't change it. Challenge. Challenge. Henry. Disaster this playthrough has been. I just want to cry. Did someone die? Oh. I really don't care <laughs> well this is a failure i don't know i guess we're gonna go back to the main house for a little bit we'll just hang out or maybe i'll just come back in the morning and we'll go do all these death rolls i guess let's just go off a bunch of kids you know i the game <laughs> the game is not being very helpful um Wait, where's Haywood living? Yeah, this is Haywood's house. It's not going to be accurate. They're supposed to die as babies. But it's fine. I can't I can't allow myself to get all stressed out about stuff. I thought that was a boy. I don't know. Sorry. 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 Just here to, um, unfortunately, off you. I, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, So Felix... And Haywood. So Felix only has like another try or so. But Haywood is supposed to have a lot, I think. So I think we need to do that really quickly. Um, he's supposed to have nine. So we're going to get them pregnant. We've been severely slacking on him. Wait. Wait. She's supposed to die. I forgot. She's supposed to die. Okay, so we need a wife for Haywood. Um, I guess we'll see if he goes to war next time. Let's just take one last look at her. I don't remember who created her now. Um, but I am so sorry that she did not get to spend much time here with us. We'll give her a good old death by anger situation. <laughs> the drama <laughs> I don't know if there's enough sims to do another live makeover session but we will see here um, alright we gotta wait for Grim now before we can leave unfortunately alright Grim do your thing alright so sorry Haywood you've lost two wives it's it's so unfortunate. So he just has Cecilia now. Hopefully she will continue to survive. He's supposed to have nine kids. So I do need to try to remarry him. But with everything going on, I don't know if we'll get to that point, you know? All right. And then Felix is living at the main Stringfellow house. I'm so sorry, Sonny. You have to go bye bye. Bye. So we do have one more sim here, that, or two that we could make over here. Um, let's, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna MC command center it. We're gonna have her have one more. Just because of the number of sims that are going to die in our world. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Okay, so she's gonna have a female. Um, we need to bring Felix here. So Felix is supposed to only have three tries. His first try with his first wife resulted in twins. And now his first try with Isabel, his second wife, has resulted in a dead baby. So he has his final shot 
right now. <sighs> he has one surviving child right now. So that's good. At least there was twins that first go around. So we're going to do randomize. And they're having a boy. All right. So all he has right now is little Regina. And there's two Sims in this house that could use makeovers, but they're not part of our main side households. So we have not made them over yet, I don't think, at all. Um, and let's just stay here for one moment. Or actually, let's go. We don't go to the side households enough, so let's go. I was just going to stay here and roll for Thomas, but let's actually go. So we have Malik, Edith's twins. We might be able to do a short cast stream. Um, I still haven't moved this family back to their main house, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So is Thomas going to get to live? We shall find out. I guess the game not cooperating means that... Uh, I have a reason to not just do this off camera <laughs> um, because it's about look at all these last exceptions I am getting it's about like the only thing okay so Thomas is going to need this whole house is going to need makeovers good gravy all right <laughs> I'm not gonna give him a makeover you guys forgive me so it's 9 and 19 for Thomas. Remember, Thomas is Rosalie and Henry's child. So 9 or 19? 6. He's good. Um, he's going to need a makeover. They're in the wrong house. I do apologize. I have not moved them around. These two are supposed to have 12 tries. They've had 8, if my count is correct. It's ruining our immersion being here. Oh, she's pregnant. I must have forgot I set that up. Second trimester. So she's good. She's pregnant. Malik did live as a newborn, but we have to do the death roll for his infant stage now. So let's go see these beautiful people. That is a freaking cute child. Um, Sawyer and Daisy, they're down to one more try. I suppose we should just get it out of the way. I don't know. <sighs> I mean, she's just now about to turn into an adult. I mean, if we do, then it's one less thing that we have to worry about in the future. Anyway, let's do the death roll for the baby first. So the infant life stage is... 4, 12, 16, or 18. I'm actually not sure if this is a male or a female baby. Um, but they are going to survive. I said she. I said he earlier. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure that out at some point. But they're going to survive for now. And I think if we do do Daisy's pregnancy now, then we know that we're done. Um... Or we can hope that Sawyer is going to live and not risk Daisy's life right now. Oh, it's nice to be here with a family that's actually all dressed appropriately and whatnot, except for the baby. All right, so that's another potential makeover. Now I think we can go home. We do have to off Eugene. Let's try it. If you missed it, this is our multi-family lot that we built on stream. And it's essentially a medieval village. And it's so cool. If you walk through, it feels like you're walking through a medieval village. Of course, it's super slow with the camera. But all the families do seem to run around on this lot. But on our squire lot, not so much. Eugene was the one that dies, right? I think so. I don't have it written down, actually. 
but bye how are you guys doing really that's that's a that's a story that is definitely a story all right we'll see you guys later i don't know i have to be really honest with all of you the way that this game is being i don't even want to play because i know all the death is coming and i can't even like interact with folk and mary and listen if you missed my community post about this when I try to go in and make this a single family lot again, I think it's probably because there's so many Sims here, maybe. I don't know. That could be a contributing factor that we're over the limit. But if I try to make it a single family property, even if I move Folk and Mary out and then make it a single family property again, I cannot load back in. It gives me um, either a never ending loading screen or a game failed to load message. So I can't even move them back in here to be able to interact with them and stuff. And it's just all very disheartening. Like I try to do multiple events so that we can see everybody again before total annihilation occurs. And I can't even successfully do that. All I can do is apologize for the absolute mess the last two episodes have been. Um, I'll probably wait a little while again to actually play this and just hope that between ea doing patch fixes and me working through my mods and stuff that we'll have better luck next time but there might be another significant break in between um but my other save files are doing just fine so well for the most part they're still kind of buggy but it's manageable but this save i can't do anything that i want <laughs> that i want to do and I'd rather just not play until I can, you know, I have, we have, okay, so next episode, we are sending the men back to war. So that's going to be a whole thing all on its own. Then in the following year in 1348, we have the Black Plague and I have not decided how we're going to do this just yet. Either I'm going to play through most of the year and then we're going to do the plague death rolls live or vice versa. We'll do the death rolls live and then I'll film the rest of the year separately. Um, or maybe we'll do some live gameplay. I don't know. I have to figure out exactly how I want to do it. But I was only planning on live streaming the rolls themselves. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to have to like mentally walk myself through like the next steps. And I don't know that I'm going to have it in me to play at that time. Unless we wait until the end to do the death rolls. And then maybe we could play through some of the year live for the first time. Um, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be an interesting stream. I will announce when we get closer. Because like I said, right now the game is almost unplayable. And I definitely don't want to be dealing with that on a live stream. So we might just be hitting a little bit of a quick pause. You know, taking more time in between episodes for a minute. See if we can get all of this sorted out. And then we'll get back to our normal, our normal kind of routine and vibe. Um, so we have the war in 1347. They're leaving. In 1348, we have the Black Plague. So some families aren't going to see each other again after some of them, some of the men leave for war. That's going to be the last time they see each other if they die during the plague. And then fast forward to 1352 and we do war death rolls again and folk dies in 1352. It's going to be very, very, very rough. We're going to see if everything that we have worked on to this point is enough or not. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, we are going to have one more baby during the next episode. We're going to have Flossie's birthday during the next episode. Let's have little Edward try out his brand new bow that his dad got for him. And maybe dad... What? Excuse me? Why can't he play with it? I Kids can play with it. What? Oh, he can't play with it. Oh my god. I can't even do that. 
By the way, Smarty is an elder now. I think we're just going to keep her. I have to be honest. I feel like I just have to get out of this game. So I mentioned at the beginning how we have we have been playing live in 1890s Decades Challenge. It's most definitely not replacing Decades. But after this playthrough, again, I feel like if we at least had Folk and Mary here, it wouldn't be as bad. But I don't know why they won't use the shared space. It's like they just aren't showing up. You know, I don't understand it. Like, if we switched houses right now, I bet you there would be people from Folk and Mary's house in here, and then we wouldn't be anymore. We would be gone, even though we're here. Let's take her over to meet Zuri and them um, before we call it a day. I want her to have a good friendo from the family, and I also want to do the same with Frances. Um, but let's, since she's the oldest right now, let's just take her over really quickly before we call it a day. Maybe get into a slightly less stressful environment. I don't know. I just hope that you all will bear with me. And I mean, these are guys, so... But meet them. They're of your age. <laughs> okay. Nature maniac, really? Okay. So, while I'm thinking of it... Ade was born in 1331. So he's... He's basically... He's basically coming of age right when we have to do war and plague. So if we married him during this year, he would be getting married at like 15. So I don't know that we're going to be able to marry him before he potentially goes off to war. So I guess we got to find out if he's going off to war next time. And if not, we will be looking on the gallery at Your Sim Creations for our lovely sir, Mr. Ade, and getting him married off if he doesn't go to war. I guess he could have like a elopement right before going, potentially. That's something that we can talk about. Look at him, though. Are you joking? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous man. <laughs> um. We'll see how that one plays out, but that's going to be on the docket as well. A wife for him. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I want her to meet Nathaniel and then we're just going to call it an episode. Mary is asking her to go to the festival. That's so stinking cute. I hate that that's not working the way that I wanted to. I want Mary around. So now you know some people. They have bad compatibility. <laughs> See, miss, get off my keyboard. They have bad compatibility. That's interesting. Okay, why don't you meet... Is this, this is Margaret, right? Yes. See, I remember one. I remember one. All right, go meet Margaret. All right, my loves. I literally cannot take it anymore. And I hope that you understand that I did try. I really did give it a solid go to really get our sims around more of the family. And it's just not happening. That's two episodes in a row. Hopefully we will be back soon. I am going to just overhaul my mods and hopefully we can go from there and actually be able to play a solid episode next time before the plague. It would be nice to be able to do something before the plague that is not an absolute disaster. So we will see. Thank you so much for your patience with me and my, I don't know, lack of management skills, I guess at this point, let's just be real. And maybe we will do a pop-up cast stream for these guys again as well before the plague and everyone dies. So everyone has their makeovers and whatnot. So keep an eye on the community tab on YouTube. And I hope that you will follow me over on Twitch and drop, drop a follow there. And we are live on YouTube and Twitch every Wednesday and Saturday right now at 2 p.m. Eastern time. If you are watching this video well after it was originally posted then please check for an updated schedule because it is likely to change over time thank you all so much rosalie and henry seem to maybe have it together more than some of the other folks around but <laughs> we'll be back next time with a baby some birthdays some tragedy some men going off to war same old, same old. I will see you then. Until then, I will catch you in the comments. 